Hey guys, I'm Defel from Archeo Project. So this time in our short guide, we take a look at uh, Default Sun, explaining how to get a different look, switching between day and night, and using our own mesh, and making this really nice big sun. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this part. Okay, so I just created new level, and by default we have just Sky Sphere. And this same right here, we have Blueprint Sky Sphere. And we can just uh, find this. And as you can see, our sky is uh, just made from one blueprint. And we have a dynamic material instance right here. And then we are controlling this blueprint using our sun and sun position. It's right here. And if we are using colors, it's just right here. If they are determined by sun position or not, we are just using our colors. Okay, but uh, what about practice? Uh, this uh, sky sphere is uh, just controlled by this light source. So if we just change this light source and change rotation to 0, 90 degrees and 0, it's exactly uh, middle of the night. It's because this arrow is uh, facing top. Yeah. And yeah, so we can just uh, select sky sphere and uh, refresh material so right now we have just middle of the night but we can also change the slide source and uh, rotate this slightly so it will be coming to the morning so once again refresh material we have just morning once again refresh material and go on so our sky is controlled by many parameters we can change and we can set this clouds to be less visible yeah, as you can see, and there is a lot of elements. So it's one blueprint. We can also just overwrite uh, color and change this to something different, maybe just <laughs> something uh, green. Uh, okay, so this is a different look, but we can change other parameters, make this cloud much more visible or star brightness or anything else. Yeah, okay. But we can create our own sky with different parameters. So we just get rid of this. So we just go to engine content and use a sphere editor. As you can see, this first element is quite small and it would be really hard to use this as sky. But the second one is intended to be used as sky. And we can even make this bigger, setting our scale to something much bigger, let's say 20. Okay, but we are still missing uh, material, so I need to set one. And we have a lot of uh, them in uh, Unreal Engine content. So I just select uh, MSky Clouds instance, which is really good. And of course, uh, we could change this horizon look. Uh, but for now, we just go to our instance and uh, have fun with some parameters. So let's check this out. Okay, so we have just a uh, sun color and we can make this more red. Okay, so you see how it's changing and this dynamic material instance is using different parameters. So maybe right now just change sun radius to be much bigger. Let's check this out. Yeah, and I think it looks uh, really nice, <laughs> but we can go uh, crazy with this and uh, make this sun even bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> of course, we can customize much, much more and change more parameters, but it's just up to you. Okay, so this is everything from this part. I hope you like this. And of course, uh, see you next time.